The Benue River in Cameroon is home to one of the most intriguing relationships ever documented. It is here that a rare friendship developed between a hippo and a man. Africa, as she was known, soon became a huge tourist attraction. She allowed people to ride on her back and would give daily shows to the public. Now, Abdu is dedicating his life to help her legend live on through his own son and hers. The Benue River is a major tributary of the Niger River and runs right through the country of Cameroon. It is 1,400 kilometers long and offers an important transportation route to the communities who live along its banks. But it's not just the villagers and farmers who depend on its life-giving waters. The river also offers a vital habitat to a famous family of hippopotamus in the area. One man in particular has developed a very special admiration for these animals. Abdu Saili is known to most as the friend of the hippopotamus. Today, Abdu can only visit his friend's skull at the Ministry of Forestry and reminisce. Africa the hippo died two years ago, but it's still an emotional experience for Abdu to visit the special hippo that he misses so much. Since Africa's death, Abdu has made it his mission to continue the legacy of this special relationship by fighting for the ongoing protection of the hippos in the area and educating people about these special animals. Même si je suis mort, il y a mon enfant, il va continuer le travail là, il va continuer. Mais seulement que eh, le petit là, eh, ça va prendre un peu du temps. Ça va prendre un peu du temps. C'est trop difficile pour pour le travail là. Mais je vais, mais je me débrouille. Je me débrouille même jusqu'à 20 ans, ça va aller, ça va, je vais, je suis ça, ça, ça va aller un peu, un peu. Ouais, ouais. Garoua is the capital of the north region of Cameroon and lies on the Benue River. It is home to almost a quarter of a million people. Thanks to the Benue River, Garoua is an oasis of green in the heart of the dry bushland, attracting tourism and trade and industry to the city. The river is the lifeblood of the people. It's a viable transportation route, a consistent provider of irrigation for crops and farming, and it supports the wildlife in the area. Just as the community relies on water and utilizes the riverbanks, so do the wild hippos in the area. Hippos are extremely territorial and highly aggressive. And it's a well-documented fact that the hippopotamus is responsible for more human deaths than any other wild animal in Africa. In Garoua, just like many other towns, cities and communities in Africa, people live alongside these dangerous animals and compete for the two most important resources, water and fertile land. Abdu was lucky enough to have the opportunity to see hippos in a completely different light. It all started 22 years ago when he first met a baby hippo who later became known as Africa. Oui, c'était ici, tu vois? C'était ici, là, la place, là. C'est-à-dire, Africa, quand il était ici, là, c'est ici qu'il est grandi. 
quand il était petit. Tu vois, euh, on était à quatre, on travaillait ensemble. Bon, quand on lui a pris, quand il était petit, ici, là, euh, il y avait mon... Les gens disent qu'il faut lui tuer. Ça, ce n'est pas un animal qui est bon. Ça, c'est un animal qui est très dangereux. Comme il est petit, là, on le tue ou bien on lui laisse. Moi, j'ai dit que non. Il faut qu'on laisse l'animal ici. On laisse, on voit comment s'il si est grandi, comment euh, on, 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 on va lui voir. Parce que c'est tout le monde qui va lui voir s'il si est grandi. Il y a mon frère qui a dit qu'on tue. C'est très mauvais. Ce n'est pas bon. Non, moi je lui ai dit que non, on laisse, on voit d'abord. On laisse un peu, on voit. Mon réaction a commencé quand elle était petite. C'était un peu dur. Mais j'ai quand même réussi. C'était un peu dur. Mon réaction, j'ai commencé avec la corde quand elle était petite. Elle était ici à la Benue, sous le pont. Elle vient passer tout le temps avec nous au pont. Pour mon réaction, j'ai commencé avec les, la corde. J'attache les herbes. Les herbes avec la corde. Une longue corde. Je jette là où il... Parce qu'il est au bord comme ça. Chaque jour, il est avec nous, il est au bord. Je jette la corde là comme ça avec les herbes. S'il veut manger, parfois, je tire. S'il y a les gens à côté de moi, je dégage tous les monnaies. Pour qu'elle comprenne bien ma voix, je tire la corde là un peu. Parfois elle suit, elle prend ça, elle mange. Parfois elle ne suit pas, elle rentre derrière. Parfois elle suit, elle prend. Si elle a pris, je laisse. Je lâche, je laisse ça avec la corde. Elle mange les herbes là. J'attache une autre corde encore. Je recommence encore. Et ça m'a pris comme ça là jusqu'à trois ans avec la corde. Bon, c'est ça mon relation. Et quand je fais ça, je fais la corde là, je fais que parler. Je bavarde trop, je, je dégage sous l'homme pour que l'animal comprenne, suit mon parole. Et ça m'a pris trois ans. C'est à partir de là que j'ai commencé mon contact avec lui et j'ai réussi. Intrigued by this unique relationship with such a ferocious animal, Abdu began drawing crowds to the riverbank. Soon, even tourists would come to witness Abdu and his special friendship with Africa, the hippo. C'est tout le monde qui vient, tous les touristes qui viennent, ils me demandent ça. Comme tu m'as comme, comme, comme j'ai commencé ça, comment tout le monde me demande ça. Et si on me demande ça, je, je, je dis quand même un peu, quand même. Je commence à les expliquer un peu et je me s'arrête là. Si ils me demandent, je commence à me expliquer comment j'ai commencé avec Africa. Je les dis quand même un petit mot. Après, je laisse. Africa soon became famous in Cameroon and many people flocked to see her. Due to Africa's unique trust and bond with Abdu, she would leave her family and join Abdu and the crowds. She trusted people so much that she even allowed them to ride on her back. No sane man would ever approach a wild hippo in its own territory, but Africa was different. She had accepted man as her friend. Sadly, it was this trust that may have led to her tragic death in April 2011. Bon, elle était partie dans le champ de jardin. Il y a les jardiniers. C'est un animal qui marche un peu partout dans la nuit. Bon, il est entré dans le jardin de Trouy. Bon, tu sais que dans le jardin, il y a les remèdes qu'on fait dans le jardin pour tuer les insectes, des trucs. Bon, dans le cas, il est parti manger ça. C'est devenu empoisonné. Ça, ça lui a empoisonné. C'est ça qui lui a tué. Pour Abdou, Losing Africa was a huge blow. Not only had he lost his special and unique friend after many years together, but Africa had also become his means of making a living. Tourists would pay to see and ride on her. When she died, Abdu was suddenly left without a business or an income. I don't have any connaissance with other hippopotamus in Europe. No. Since Africa's death, times have been difficult. Abdu has been out of work for the past two years. Muslim by faith, Abdu keeps his unwavering resolve and tries to find ways to deal with the loss of Africa. Without daily shows for tourists, Abdu has to think of other ways to try and support his family.
His wife bakes confectionery, which she sells at the local market. Times are hard, and the income is meager. While the family continues their struggle to earn money at the local market, Abdu makes it his mission not to lose the connection with Africa's family. One of the young males is Africa's last born calf, and Abdu is hoping to develop his relationship with this young bull, whom he has named Lepeti. But there is one big challenge standing in his way. The dominant male hippo in Africa's family group is in charge of this territory and fiercely protective over his family. He has no intention of accepting Abdu the way Africa did. Nevertheless, Abdu sets out in his dugout canoe as often as possible and continues his quest to befriend Lepeti. Everyone wants him to succeed and he has strong support from both locals and officials in the area. Abdu is helping us in the conservation of these animals. Over time, the interaction between Abdu and, and, the, and Africa and friends made the farmers to become more tolerant. Abdu did not, was not trained to interact with the hippos. So his, his longevity with the hippos makes him know the hippo potemos even more than us that are technicians in the field. It will not be more than a week without you saying um, tourists coming down the bridge to visit these hippos and all to see this interaction that exists between man, Abdu, with the hippopotamus. It has increased the tourism sector in Garoa. Abdu has seen so much change in the last 20 years and he fears for the future of the hippos in this part of the river. With Africa gone and tourism dwindling, it's more important than ever for Abdu to hand over what he has learned from his years with Africa and make sure that a healthy respect for hippos is taught to the next generation. Abdu's youngest son, Osmaila, has expressed a keen interest in the hippos of Benue and frequently accompanies his father to the river. Abdu points out the different hippos in Africa's family to his son and teaches him about the hippo behavior and what he has learned over the years through his own observations and interactions. He explains that when you're in the water with the hippos, you need to pay attention to the bull as he is the key to interacting with the group and Lepeti. If the bull snorts loudly or opens his mouth to show his teeth, or stands to defecate in the water. This is a sign of aggression and you need to stop your approach to show you mean his family no harm. It's important to everyone in Garoa that these lessons are passed on. Abdul's um, interaction with, the, with Africa had benefited the population in and around Garoa. When the tourists, I would say before they come into the country, they got flight tickets, they, they got hotels, that they, that they spend the nights, restaurants, they, that they feed, and the local, the local 
population. When they come around, they buy little things around and so forth. Abdul is contributing in his own little corner to improve the economy of the country. The tourists come, even when they are dead. The tourists come here always. It has diminished a bit. Yes, it has diminished. Not as if they were alive. Farmers have also become less tolerant of hippos since Africa died. The natural vegetation on the riverbanks is slowly being replaced by cultivated crops, and the hippos naturally feed on the most readily available source of food in the area. The farmers are angry that their livelihood is being destroyed by the hippos, and they call in the wildlife authorities to fire shots into the air and scare the hippos away. Slowly but surely, Abdu risks losing contact with Africa's hippo family. Abdu is trying to befriend Africa's youngest calf, Lepeti, but he is faced with many challenges. The dominant hippo bull is very wary of humans, and the entire pod of hippos have been chased downstream by the farmers. Because, bon, it's a little bit far here. If you look at it, it's far away. They are at 17 kilometers now. Auparavant, they were here to approach, but at the pond here. Bon, maintenant, ils sont éloignés, les parents d'Afrique, ils sont éloignés, ils sont partis à 17 km. Donc c'est pourquoi je ne pars pas vite, vite, c'est un peu loin et ça me fait le transport beaucoup. C'est pourquoi je pars trois fois par semaine. This, however, has not swayed Abdou's determination. He still makes the journey into the city to continue buying food for Le Petit. Au commencement, je ne connais même pas ce qu'elle mange. Quand j'ai commencé même d'abord l'histoire, quand j'ai commencé le contact avec elle, je ne connais même pas ce qu'elle mange au juste. Parce que c'est quelque chose qui vit dans l'eau. Je ne connaissais pas. J'ai demandé qu'est-ce que l'animal euh, hippopotame mange à, à un vieux là. Il m'a dit que l'hippopotame brut. Il brut, il mange les herbes, c'est un imbivore. Il peut manger les herbes, il peut manger le mille. Bon, c'est à partir de là que j'ai commencé à connaître ce qu'il mange. J'ai essayé avec le, le, les herbes, il mange les herbes. J'ai essayé avec le mille, il mangeait le mille. Et dernièrement, alors, c'est à partir de là que bon, j'ai connu que ce qu'il mange. C'est un vieux qui, qui m'a dit ce qu'il mange au juste, mais je ne connaissais pas ce qu'il mange. Dès que je connais maintenant, si je, je, comme, comme je connais ce qu'il mange, je mélange le sel avec le moïse écrasé, avec le kanwa. Comme je connais déjà ce qu'il mange, ce qu'il veut, bon, je mélange avec le camp avec du sel. Ben, C'est comme ça. Abdou is determined to be part of this hippo group again. Every time he visits the river, he can't help but reminisce about his days with Africa. When he was a baby, I played with him here. You know, I played with him every morning and every morning. And if I played with him, there are people who come to all the city. Like now, he is now big. Now, we have grown up and we have grown up. Now, if I play with him, he is already growing up. Now, if I play with him, he is already growing up. Toute la ville, ça c'est vrai, ça, toute la ville vient. Beaucoup de monde là, il est en boutage. Je lui donne, je verse, je lui donne à manger là. Il est en train de manger. Je prends les enfants, je les fais monter moi-même, je monte sur lui, je fais le tour un peu là au pont là. Pour que, c'est-à-dire, je joue avec ça seulement comme ça. 
Mais je sais que c'est un animal dangereux. Il y a beaucoup de gens, les, beaucoup de gens, ils viennent, ils, ils, ils sont en train de voir. Moi aussi, je suis content si les, viennent, les gens viennent me voir avec ça là. Je suis trop content, ce n'est que ça, c'est-à-dire que euh, je, je faisais avec l'animal là. Nowadays, life is much harder for Abdu. The glory days with Africa are over, and the hippos are no longer simply wallowing near the bustling bridge of Garoua every morning. Abdu has to travel a long distance just to find the hippos these days, but he needs to focus on the future and a potential partnership with Lepeti. <laughs> When Abdu finds the hippos, the real work starts. He wades deep into the water with his special mixture of ground corn, salt and molasses and starts to call to Lepeti, hoping to habituate him to his voice, just as he did with Africa more than 20 years ago. The group is wary of Abdu in the water. The dominant bull doesn't take his eyes off Abdu. He will not tolerate imposters in his territory, and Abdu is taking a huge risk by even approaching him. Despite their heavy bodies, hippos can be incredibly fast when they charge down an opponent. The hippos keep their distance, and despite all of Abdu's efforts, he cannot entice Liberty any closer to him. Every day, Abdul awakes with a renewed sense of determination to face his nemesis, the river bull, once again. But Abdul is not to be deterred. He continues relentlessly with his visits to the river. Africa's memory spurs him on. If there is one main lesson he has learned from his years with Africa, it's that he needs to be a constant presence if he stands any chance of building a trusting relationship with Lepeti and the rest of the hippos.
Fine. Ada bu baleri. His nemesis keeps a beady eye on him, but Lepati seems to be more curious than usual today. If his experience with Africa is anything to go by, Abdul will need to persevere. It took him three years to achieve a trusting friendship with Africa, and there's no knowing how long it will take with Lepati. Je continue aussi encore le travail là. Je ne peux pas laisser le travail pour les hippopotames. Je continue même comme Africa est mort comme ça là. Je continue, je ne laisse pas. Je pense que bon après ça là, je ne sais pas encore ce que je vais ajouter. Ce n'est que ça. Que je pouvais vous dire concernant l'Afrique ici à la Bénouée. 